everybody, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> I got lipstick on my teeth. Welcome back to my channel, Keeping Up With Kitty. Happy Thursday! It's Thursday! Like, what y'all got planned for the weekend? There's the weekend begins on Thursday, just in case you didn't know. So a few video go video blah 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 blah. So a few videos ago, if, I guess that that makes sense. I created a video called "The Last Three Books I Read," kind of just a way to keep myself accountable for reading books and to encourage all of you to read books as well because reading books is a great thing. Despite what people say, reading is a great thing. I thought uh, making a video about the last three books I read, one, that's just, I think, doing too much because I can't remember a lot about a book that I read, like, I don't know, two months ago unless I took notes. So I think I'm just going to take it one book at a time, which I think y'all would probably appreciate too because the video isn't going to be as long. Or you never know, I might start going into detail. We don't really know. I'm just kind of rolling with it for right now. Last book I read is called... The Sisters Are Alright by Tamara Winfrey Harris. I'll read the first uh, few sentences off the back so you can kind of get an idea and I'll kind of go into a little bit more. So it says, what's wrong with black women? Not a damn thing. The Sisters Are Alright exposes anti-black women propaganda and shows how real black women are pushing back against distorted cartoon versions of themselves. So this book, um, it really educates people on the Jezebel, Mammy, and Sapphire stereotypes and caricatures. That what Tamara Winfrey Harris does in The Sisters Are Alright is she goes into a lot of different categories that black women fall under. She goes into them in each chapter and kind of breaks down the stereotypes and shows you know, people kind of are feeding off this stereotype still and we are trying to move away from that. This book's only 123 pages. So if you're someone who doesn't really like to read but you want to learn more about um, black womanhood, take a, take a great, great read through this. I'll break down the chapters. Beauty, sex, marriage, motherhood, anger, strength, and health. So she kind of goes into each of those chapters and breaks down the different stereotypes and talks about how black women are breaking out of, are doing their best to break out of those stereotypes and to break out of those molds and that, no, you know, not all black women are the same. And that because of the stereotypes, everybody kind of views black women the same. I love it. She says that we have facets like diamonds. The trouble is the people refuse to see us sparkling. I would recommend this book to anyone who wants to learn more about black womanhood and that doesn't mean that you need to be black to read this book I think solidarity is huge in the feminist movement so if you are not a black woman but you are a feminist or you're a woman of color and you want to learn more about what black women are dealing with and if you know you want to be more progressive as a feminist you have to know about what's happening in each group of of women you know what i'm saying you got to know the history you have to know what's happening present day in order to be there for them and make some kind of change it really is a good book and it's not too lengthy the font is not too big so it's not like reading a dictionary i think that the the really cool thing about this book is i think also it's it's a shorter book but that means anybody can read it that means you know somebody who's maybe 12 years old could pick up this book and somebody who's 62 could pick up this book I think that's something that I want to you know when I bring books on this channel I want something that everybody can read no matter what level of reading that you're at Cause the sisters are alright is really educational she really dives into the mammy and the Jezebel and the sapphire and if you don't know what they are you're just gonna have to look them up for yourself this book was published in 2015 so it is pretty current and she uses a lot of cultural contests contexts yeah she uses a lot of cultural context it's about things that are you know that have happened within the like past five years at least I just wish this book was a little longer I just wanted to read as much as I could about this author Tamara Winfrey Harris she her writing has been featured by the Chicago Sun Times Ms. Bitch the American Prospect Salon the Guardian Newsweek Daily Beast XO Joanne the Huffington Post Psychology Today and Change.org so she is is highly highly got it going on and the author of this book is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha so if you're you know an AKA out there and you want to read something 
pick up this book, girl. My favorite chapter throughout this whole book was about anger and how um, she talks about how black women are not allowed to get angry. That anybody else can be angry, but once a black woman becomes angry, it becomes an issue. You know, it becomes a problem. It's a stereotype. She's loud. She's this. She's that. But everybody has emotions. We are all allowed to feel angry when we're upset. That's okay. But for some reason, it's not okay for black women to be angry and to have the whole when you're a black person or a person of color it's like you know it's almost like you feel like you have your whole race on your shoulders sometimes and that you're always representing for your people and that shouldn't be the case you, you should be able to cry when you want to cry you should be able to be angry when you want to angry we're all human beings and those are the feelings that you have when you're a human not one black woman is the same as the next that we all have different things that we like and things that we don't like and we're not the same we're all different and that the sisters are all right that I just love this book a lot it was really great check it out it's not long if you're looking for something to read quickly if you're going on a quick vacation you know if you just want something to keep on your nightstand go get this and I also recommend this book to men black men you should read this book because if you kind of saw how all of these stereotypes and caricatures are broken down, you could see your role in this and what you can do to make change as well. It's really important to me to read books, but it's also really important to me to read books by women of color because, one, I, I'm sure in the writing world, being a woman is not easy and you're probably not seen as credible and then being on top of that being a woman of color probably is makes it even harder to get your 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 writing to be read and to be published and um, I'm all about supporting women of color out there trying to make it trying to give us literature and things to read so I'm all for that go check out the book the sisters are all right by Tamara Winfrey Harris it's a really great book short read and you learn a lot and it's pretty interesting again because it was published in 2015 so there's still a lot of um do I have lipstick on my teeth there's, there's still a lot of current things going on in the book so that you could definitely relate to it thank you all so much for watching another video with me I'm gonna keep doing this series the last book I read let me know what was the last book you read have you read the sisters are alright before what did you think about it leave your comments below it is also black history month and I was kinda happy that I finished this book this month cuz I thought oh my gosh yeah I could talk about it on my channel so happy black history month to everybody Hope you're all having a great Black History Month and that you're doing something to celebrate in your own way. Alright y'all, see you in my next video.